at right here, bro. Yeah, fuck the rich neighborhood. <laughs> smoky, smoky. This <laughs> <laughs> the old toy hauler, boys. She yeah. works mint, though. That's She's right. loyal, eh? Turns right on. Her. Yeah. That's only on the four. On four on that one, so. Yeah, I turn off five, we'll blow the transmission yeah. right now. Good, bud. Back to being a runner. All right, guys, so we're just gonna drop Chad's tank again. You already had it dropped, right? So we're gonna drop this again, and then uh, James just pulled in the Duramax. So I'm gonna get it jacked up. But you guys can see, it's, it's pissing pretty good there. So I would say the, the seal's gone or, or one of the lines on the top of the sending unit. So and then I got two new filters too. So we'll do that at the same time. Yeah. Sitting outside looking pretty. Yeah. Once we get your truck fixed, we'll get the uh, same with my truck. Once we get both trucks fixed, we gotta get both cars on the go. Yeah. So we're gonna do a quick oil change in the, the truck too. We want to pull the pan just to see what they did to it because they had the head belt on that. So yeah, the head was head studs and head yeah. I ever dealt with it, so so we'll see what the yeah we'll just have a quick peek. We'll there you guys. So we're gonna see what what the motor looks like in the truck too. But we actually called around and uh, they're really getting hard to find nowadays. And even if you do find them, they don't really warranty them. So uh, Chaz got two. He was also thinking maybe. Swapping the 350 in the truck. The 350 in the truck. Yeah. Spare motor for the Supra. So this is a built built 350 that he had just laying around. It's yeah. got what TH400 on it. TH400. Yeah, it's got a mild cam. Just just carved. Rebuilt yeah. a while back, but I mean it runs really good. So. Yeah. So uh, we were thinking about either putting something like that in it or even an LS swap or something, but. <laughs> We'll see. What do you, you guys let us know what you think. We're going to pull, like we said, we're going to pull the pan off probably today once we get the fuel pump figured out yeah. here. Yeah. And uh, then we'll go from there. So it's just okay. just an idea. We figured we'd show you guys what we got kind of laying around. We could do it real fast too. Yeah. Drop so, shaft and done. Yeah. that's one so this is chad's unit here uh we're gonna to pull that all back apart reseal it all back up it's a little jimmy rage but it works yeah now we gotta now we gotta drop this old girl so this is a little bigger but you guys can see it's it's dripping right there still so we'll get that. all right guys so chad and i just got back uh we went to the local part store that's still open so marshland's on lewisville and uh ordered a wall bro for the truck Still gonna pull the other pump out because that's out of the Supra. So he's gonna see what's going on with that. And then uh, I had to get a new sending unit for the truck. So this thing uh, had the original stuff in it. So we're going to install this new one that we got here. So you guys can see. Calvin hooked me up, went and got me this. So I'll open this up and show you guys uh, the process of putting it in the tank. Yeah, this is a nice little piece here. It's the whole thing. So the second one over is the one that's leaking right now. Oh, your fuel gauge is gonna work now. Hopefully. Oh, unless it's a cluster, because it's a GM. Yeah, GM cluster problems. Yeah. But uh, we're gonna put this new sending unit. Well, <clears throat> we just got my tank dropped, and you guys can see she's seen better days. So we knew, even when Jamie owned it, that it was starting to rust there but the truck is from alberta it's all original here so besides that you guys can see the everything underneath here is all all good the frames all good shape so we're gonna put the new sending unit in this and then chad i think you got yours working eh i yeah, get it working for now yeah yeah so that'll be good until his parts come in yeah 255 did we tell them? Yeah, yeah, we ordered a uh, Walbro 255 for, for the truck. So 
That'll get her up and going. Get her up and going for now. It'll like that 15 pounds a little more. Yeah. I think so. <laughs> Might like it a little bit more. Yeah. Well, can turn the pressure up too. I'm mm -hmm. going to uh, get this apart, guys, and get it cleaned up and probably clean the tank out too since we're here. Might as well. Might as well. I'm going to use that much diesel. No, we'll, we'll just get some, we'll go get some new diesel. Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys, so Chad and I took a little while to beat this ring off. Basically, it sits in there like that, and then you just beat it on. That holds the pump and the seal down here, but you can see how dirty it was. So we're gonna flush this tank anyways. It's pretty clean in there, but I do see a couple of things. So just for my uh, own knowledge, we'll we'll drain it and clean it. Mine last time. Yeah, and he already flushed his last yeah, time. He got his pump working. So you guys can see the pump's working. Yeah, it's working now. You're on the floor. It's all over the floor. <laughs> so, it's working. so if you guys ever need to uh, basically drain for fuel. Transfer fuel or drain your tank. Chad set up this uh, Walbro 255 for his uh, junk one for his furnace oil. <laughs> yeah, for my furnace oil. Yeah. So I'm giving him my old uh, stuff from my tank. Figured I'd clean it out while I was here. Shove oh. that right in my furnace. Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> about 20 liters coming. Yeah, 20 liters. 15 yeah. liters, guys. But yeah, it's just as simple as that, boys. Yeah. That uh, to a battery. BMW. Alright guys, so we just got this in. Uh, all you gotta do is make sure your rubber's in right. We just put a little bit of stuff on it so it could stay in the same spot. And then you just put your lock on. Make sure you're facing the right way. And then you gotta walk one side, walk the other, and kind of work it. But yeah. And then Chai's just sealing up his tank right now. And then I'm gonna have to throw this thing back up on... Uh, on the lifts here. So. All right, boys. So now I just had to take this all apart. It was stuck on the old one, so I got it out. Made sure all my everything was gonna seal. Same with this little breather. That's all gonna seal. Got this line back on, and then now I just gotta do this guy. And I'll show you guys what I'm working with here. So this is the line that goes up to my lift pump and then this is the old rotted line here you guys can see so basically I'm just gonna get this guy in here so I can work at it just kind of like that and then I'm gonna go help huh hold on I'm, I'm coming What do you need? Tighten? <laughs> You're falling off. Oh, she fell off. Okay. Okay, tighten it back. There we go. There you go, buddy. Perfect. Feel her neck go up in the place? Yes, sir. There we go. Right there. Yeah, the next where it needs to go. Would bring the jack and some. Yeah, that's probably pretty good for us. You go right there, and I can hook everything up. Perfect. Perfect. It's gonna fire up. You think she'll fire up, bud? No, I hope so. Let's try her out. Ready to go now. So. My tank's up inside, just hooking it back up, and then. So I got my two cat filters off. I got the tank up inside where it needs to be, guys. I put two brand new straps on it just because I was there. 
So for the extra couple of bucks, it's it's worth it to for me to know that the tank doesn't have to come back out for quite a while. So now my fast 165 lift pump. Um, these filters have done me great, but I figured it's time for an upgrade. So we're just gonna go with the exact same cat filters, and uh, I'll show you guys basically how to fill them up first, so then it doesn't make the pump have to prime so much. Um, I'm also going to change the front filter, but I'll show you guys this process anyways. I smoked you right out. My bad, boys. So, like all right, guys. So we'll see you on the next one, boys. On the next one. How's she working, bud? Try her out. Try her out. Let's see if we can get her spool in first. Back to her old self. Back to her old self. Good to go. Woohoo!